Toronto's war on crime. I'm Detective Graff. This is Detective Bateman. The worst offenders are pursued by the detectives of the Specialized Criminal Investigations Unit. These are their stories. I guess the question is the, the decision to do a law and order, um, not only a law and, or, law and order, but criminal intent, because criminal intent has been off the air for at least a decade. Criminal intent has been franchised in other parts of the world. I think they did criminal intent Russia, criminal intent France. Um, but there'd never been a version where original scripts had been done. Those were sort of adapted for culture and the original scripts were uh, translated essentially. So this was when we first started talking to Wolf Entertainment, it was going to be Canadian original scripts. It was going to be set in Toronto. The other reason we liked Criminal Intent was it was ultimately about the psychologies, the psychology of, of the killers. And it was, you know, essentially these two hero detectives who were on a pursuit for, you know, pursuit for justice. And, and, and it was that franchise that, made sense to tell in Canada we're not getting into the legal side of um, of the investigation it really is about the investigation which made sense for I think the launch of this first expansion into Canada as far as the franchise goes. Tassie what can you tell me about some of the cases? Well I think that some will not surprise you and some will I think some of the some big ones that people might expect we are telling in season one, we aren't, and maybe we'll tackle in season two. You know, you're really trying to make sure that you're tackling, handling a mix of different stories with different motives, different kinds of killers, different kinds of victims, different kinds of socioeconomic worlds. So, you know, you're, you we laid out 30, 40 different headlines to start from and then started to kind of piece them together to see what felt like a satisfying 10 episode season. So it they really they really range. They're they're all homicides, but so when you say you had 30 or 40 uh cases that you kind of like explored the possibility of um how did you narrow it down? You can when you're talking with a group of writers and you're sort of talking a, around a headline, you can see people's eyes light up and people start to get greedy because they want that headline. That's a good that's a good sign that it's that there's something interesting in there. Again, it was really it's trying to make sure that our motives are different, our cr criminals are different, our victims are different. So so it's you don't want it all to be, you know well wealthy white people getting killed in their forest hill mansions or you know, so you're trying to, you're trying to kind of make sure that you're exploring different parts of the city different worlds different environments diff and really different human emotions and so you when you start to look at headlines they start to break down into into emotions you know that one's greed that one's possessiveness that one's jealousy that one's burying a secret and you start to realize that that you need a mix to make it interesting. The press is gonna be all over this one. This is not the kind of leadership we want our children to see. When we removed the earth, we found this. That's some concrete evidence right there. 